Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be cutting some more rocks that have not been previously cut. I do believe I have some agates in this group, but I also have some rocks that I really don't have a clue what uh, they are. But I'm interested to see what they look like inside, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Unfortunately, I did have some technical difficulties with my camera and I didn't actually record cutting the first rock. For some odd reason, the camera just decided to turn itself off. Hopefully it doesn't happen again in the future. But let's go ahead and see how this first rock turned out. All right, well, I do enjoy starting out with a rock that's easy to cut, and that definitely was. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Okay, well, that's pretty neat. I really do like this area here, but I'm not quite sure what that's called, if that's moss or not. I'm going to have to look that up. But yeah, I, I do really like that. Cool. Alright, well, let's move on to the next one. I'm going to go with this greenish one. I Maybe it's a Jasper? Not sure, but I kind of like green, so I'm gonna cut it open. Right, this one was a little bit harder to cut through, but I think it went fairly easy. Alright, well, I really don't know what that is. I'm going to have to do a little research on that, but it is kind of neat, and I do think, I do think that would look pretty cool cabbed up. So, I'm going to go get my softens. I'm going to take a slab off of this one, because I do think I will cab that. I do like that it kind of has a bit of purple, but it also does have the green. So I'm not super happy with that slab, so I will be take I will go ahead and take another one. All right, well, I do think that that one uh, that one turned out a little bit better. I think I'll go ahead and cab this up, include a little short bit of me doing that and showing the final results I'll uh, do that right about now All right, well, this one's up next. I do believe this is a agate nodule. I do think I see some banding lines right in this area here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it right down the middle. All right, well, let's go ahead and see what we got here. I did uh, crack a bit on the end. Ah, not too bad. It definitely did have those water lines there. But it does have a nice little pocket of crystal. Yeah, it did not turn out too shabby. 
All right, well, go ahead and move on to the next one. I think it's a moss agate. Yeah, when it's a wet, you can definitely see it there. So I'm just going to take a bit off right in here, see if I can get a piece that I can work with. Not too bad. I'm not looking forward to that crack right there. And it does look to go fairly far through it. So this one might be uh, this one might be where I can make some little cabs from this area, but I don't I don't trust that crack right in there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a one little slab off of this see what i can you know what i can do with it all right well yeah that that crack's still there but i do think i can probably get a little cab out of this area and up here so I'll go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll post a video, a little short video of that, right about now. All right, well, that's what the other side looked like. Pretty similar. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next one. All right, well, I have a, absolutely no clue what this rock is or if it's going to end up looking good at all. But I was intrigued by it because of these rather strong red veins running through it. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it up. All right, time for a rock joke I found off the internet. Why did The Rock choke at his stand-up show? Because there was too much pressure. Well, you don't have to worry about me doing stand-up. It's not the pressure that would get to me. My wife thinks I have no humor. And if I tried, I think she would leave me. All right, well, that one was hard to cut through, but let's see what it looks like. All right, well, that's kind of neat. I do like the red veins running through it. But like I said at the beginning, I have no clue what this is. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and set this one off to the side. I think eventually I will. I will eventually get around to cutting, uh, doing a cab of it. But for now, I have plenty of other rocks to work with. You know, ah. All right, on to the very last one. <laughs> I know I should know what this is. And I'm sure it'll come to me pretty quick once I do a little research of it. But I want to see what it looks like. So I did look into this one and I'm thinking it's a Chinese writing stone, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Alright, well I'm going to predict it looks very similar on the inside as it does on the outside. 
and that was correct. It's still pretty neat though. Uh, yeah. I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, I might eventually try making a cab of this, but for now, like the last one, I got plenty to work on, and I'll keep uh, keep it on the back burner. All right, well, I'm very happy with how these turned out. I'm pleasantly surprised on a couple of these. Turned out rather neat, that one there. That one also turned out rather nice, and I'm not really, uh, I don't think any of these turned out too bad. I will have to say that this one here is probably my favorite. I was not expecting it to turn out that neat. And I like being surprised, even though that one is pretty cool too. But if you liked what you've seen, please hit that like button, and if you want to, feel free to subscribe. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye.